Cisco SAN Insights Discovery. In SAN deployments, it is crucial to understand the performance of each network element and the overall health of your fabric. Cisco SAN Insights Discovery, or Cisco SID, allows you to not only understand the overall health of your SAN fabrics, but also shares the information with your team or Cisco representatives for troubleshooting or migrating to newer Cisco Fabric deployments. Cisco SID uses Cisco SID Collector and Cisco SID Analysis applications for displaying SAN health. Cisco SID Collector is an application that's installed on your computer. It is used to collect SAN health for your fabric. To use the Collector application, open it on your computer. Next, add a fabric name, enter the IP address of the seed switch, enter the SSH credentials of the seed switch, and click Submit. The application starts to collect the required information and displays a success message after the process is complete. Cisco SID displays the location of the zip file with the collected data. We use the zip file to view your fabric's SAN health with the Cisco SID analysis application. The collected reports are snapshots of the fabric health at the time they were generated. Cisco SID analysis application is used to display information from your SAN fabric that was captured using the collector. To use the analysis application, go to csid.cisco.com and log in using your Cisco account credentials. After logging into the application, you see the My Reports dashboard. The My Reports dashboard allows you to upload your fabric reports, search for already uploaded fabric reports, download reports, and so on. To upload a fabric report, click the Upload Report button, navigate to the location on your computer where the report is located, select the report, and click Open. The uploaded report is displayed as a card and displays brief information about alerts, switches, end devices, etc. for the fabric. To view a report, click a report from the My Reports dashboard. The Fabric Overview dashboard is the default dashboard displayed. The navigation panel on the top allows navigation between various dashboards. Most dashboards display data in a table format and can be sorted by clicking the table headers. You can also filter specific data by searching in the Filter Table Search box. The Fabric Overview dashboard displays the overall health of your fabric. It displays the fabric score, which is an average score of all the switch scores in the fabric. It also displays the total number of alerts, number of end devices connected, port consumption, list of switches and their health scores, and so on at the fabric level. Click a switch name to quickly navigate to the Switch Overview Dashboard. The Switch Overview Dashboard displays a summary of the overall health of the switch. It displays the switch name, IP address, software version, total number of alerts on the switch, number of end devices connected, port consumption, list of modules and ports, etc. at the switch level. Click the Back to Fabric button to navigate back to the Fabric Overview Dashboard, where we can check the switch summary information for other switches as well. The Alerts tab enables a view of the Fabric Alerts Dashboard. The Fabric Alerts Dashboard displays all the alerts that are generated in your fabric. It displays the top four categories of alerts as cards, along with the Total Alerts card. Clicking a card filters the alerts specific to the category, and clicking the Total Alerts card clears the filter. The Alerts table provides more information, such as the switch name, IP address, severity, description, and so on. The Fabric Alerts card on the Fabric Overview dashboard also enables a view of the Fabric Alerts dashboard. You can check the alerts specific to switches by clicking a switch name which displays the switch overview dashboard. Here, click the alerts card to view the alerts specific to the switch. The switch alerts dashboard displays information similar to the fabric alerts dashboard, but for the specific switch. The inventory tab includes a mini navigation panel to view the fabric inventory dashboard. 
The Fabric Inventory Dashboard includes a mini navigation panel to display the inventory of switches, modules, licenses, and end devices. By default, the Fabric Inventory Dashboard displays the switches inventory. The Modules tab displays the list of modules in the fabric. Similarly, the Licenses and Devices tab displays the list of licenses and end devices respectively. You can check the inventory specific to switches by clicking a switch name and clicking the inventory card to view the inventory specific to the switch. By default, the switch inventory dashboard displays the ports inventory. Similar to the fabric inventory, the modules, licenses, and devices tab in the switch inventory displays inventory specific to the switch. Click the vSANS tab to view the fabric vSANS dashboard. The Fabric vSANS dashboard displays the vSANS that are configured in the fabric. Click a vSAN name to view the active zone members that are configured for that specific vSAN. Click the Zones tab to view zoning information specific to brocade switches. This tab is present only when there are brocade switches that are not operating in the Access Gateway mode. Click the Utilization tab on the Navigation panel to view the Fabric Utilization Dashboard. This dashboard displays information about port utilization, average capable bandwidth utilization, port usage by port speed, and so on. It also displays CPU and memory utilization information. You can also get the switch level utilization information by clicking a switch. Click the Topology tab to view the network topology of your fabric. Click and hold a switch to display the peer switches connected to the switch. Double click a switch to view the switch health. For more information, click the help icon and click help to view the documentation. Thank you for watching.